right, and welcome to my fifth tutorial on Hammer Editor. We're going to make water a displacement to make the ground look more realistic, and we'll make this dirt pile look better. Okay, so, and we're going to work on some glass. Alright, so, first what we're going to do is we're going to do our window. So, browse for no draw. It's like tools slash tools no draw. Then fill your window with this material. I already have my window framed up and ready to go. Okay. Almost done. Alright. Now you'll have that. So, browse for glass. And you want to scroll down until you see glass slash off WNDWB. Select that. Then select your face, edit, and right click on just one side of the glass. And then left click on that side, so just that side of the material is selected. And then under justify, click fit. This will fit the material to the glass, so it looks better. Now press Alt, Control T, and you want this to be a funk breakable surf. This will do is it'll make it shatter and look a lot like glass. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna do our dirt pile. So grab your dirt material from it and delete it. To make it flat, make sure the material goes underneath the ground. All right. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this button, face edit sheet, go to the displacement side, and create it. And now with the displacements, you can have a power of two, three, or four. We're gonna do this one with the power of two. Um. Okay. So paint your geometry. Make your radius smaller or bigger. Then just raise it up so it looks how you want it to look. I think that looks like a pretty good pile of dirt right there. Just kind of raise it up out of the ground, and it looks a lot better than that choppy pile of dirt. Okay, so now we're going to do water. But first, we need to create a pool for our water. So we're going to make the grass a displacement. We're going to do this one with the power of four. Now, if you can use a lower power, use a lower power, because it'll take less system resources. So then, lower it to what you want it to be. Don't go under your skybox, so that would be bad. Okay. Then browse for no draw. Again, and fill where your water's going to be with no draw. Okay, it's almost done. Now, it does not have to be perfect. You just got to make sure that, that it's not too outrageous. And it fits your water fine. Alright, so now browse for water. And then you want to use the blue ones. So, and then you, I'm going to use water canals. Then select water canals from your face edit sheet and right click on it to apply the water. Now here's something really cool. If you go to your web browser and you do a Google for source wiki. Alright, source wiki. It'll take you to this page. You can also go to help, help topics. And then you do a search for water list. Then click on the top one, water. Then scroll down to HL2 and CSS Waterless. Take you to this website. And this is a list of water oh, and what it looks like in game. This is very helpful. Okay. Now we're going to create an entity above it. Press Alt to enter. Make it a water log control. And what this does, it tells the game. Want to make the water cheap or look pretty. So let's compile it. I'll see you in CS. 
All right, here we are in Counter Strike. Let's load up our map. Make sure you don't have any bots in it, so we can make sure everything works good. All right, join your team. Look, here's our water. It's all nice and pretty. It works. That's what I like to see. And we have a dirt pile, looking very dirty. And look, our glass. See how it chatters? That's exactly what we wanted. And now you walk and it'll break. That, that's it. That's, uh, that's it for this tutorial. See you later. Happy mapping.